This is question number four. Explain what happens to the seed speed of water wave as it moves from the shallow to the deep end of the ripple tank. So as a uh, water moves from the shallow to the deep uh, end of a uh, ripple tank, uh, the wavelength increases. So the, the velocity is defined as a uh, of the wavelength multiplied by the frequency so if the wavelength increases uh, this one increases then it means velocity will increase because velocity is directly proportional to the wavelength uh, we can uh, have a picture of that so this is an example uh, from the you see from the shadow this is the shadow water the, the, the speed is slow as a wavelength as, 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 a, uh, as, as a wave spread to the deep you can see here the this is the wavelength that is the wavelength and this is the wavelength so this one is bigger so the velocity increases uh, this is the boundary between the deep and the shallow uh, so with that can be able to answer this question and you say as the you can say as the wave moves from shallow to deep uh, from shallow to deep end of ripple tank ripple tank the wavelength increases uh, so v is equals to lab uh, wavelength uh, multiplied by the frequency uh, as a result as a result, the, the velocity increases. Increases as, as it is directly proportional to uh, wavelength. The frequency remains the same. The frequency remains the same because the source is the same. The source is the same. So that is how you answer that question and you get yourself uh, two marks. So the, as a result of the uh, water wave moving from shallow to deep, the wavelength increases which uh, consequently it, 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 it uh, increases uh, the velocity, the frequency remains the same. So that's how you answer that question.